Today's video is brought to you in part by Pooper Scooper Kit, eco-friendly dog kits. Check them out on Facebook at www.facebook.com backslash scoop it up. Sometimes, I wish I had more mystery in my life. Well, maybe not in the way you're thinking, but in the Indiana Jones kind of way. You know, stumble upon an ancient ruin without having any clue what it's about. I would never think of having the opportunity for that around my house. Seeing that Canada is only slightly older than our great-grandparents, the amount of mysteries in this country aren't quite as frequent as those you would get in an ancient civilization. However, scattered between the businesses and roads of Bears Lake, one can find the Bears Lake Mystery Walls. In order to get to the Mystery Walls, one must complete three challenges of increasing difficulty. <laughs> just kidding. All you simply need to do is hike a one kilometer or 0.6 mile hike through the woods. This unmaintained loop trail only makes you climb an elevation of 15 meters or 49 feet, so nothing too strenuous. So kind of looking forward to this hike. It's um, a place that I only just learned about a little while ago. I've actually heard about the mystery walls before, but I never actually took the time to look at what they are. And there's a lot of controversy around what they actually are. So I'm interested in going to see how big they are, how long they are, and uh, see which of the schools of thought that I agree with once we actually get there. Beautiful spring day today. Uh, it's gonna be about 18 degrees Celsius, one of the nicest days that we've had so far this year. And it's been, it's great being able to get out. I'm actually wearing shorts today for the first time, which for me is amazing. Now, if we can get days where I can wear my sandals as well, I'll be super happy. So here we are, we have made it to the mystery walls. There are several thoughts about what these structures could be. Of course, you have those with the most vivid imaginations, who hope this site belongs to the Knights Templar and has connections with the mysteries surrounding Oak Island, about 70 kilometers or 43 miles away. Others believe this area was home to the Vikings, which landed in Newfoundland. Although, as far as we know, they never chose to venture this far south. The most likely and most accepted idea is perhaps the most simple and admittedly a boring option. It was a pen and outbuilding for a flock of sheep. So unlike a lot of the other trails that we've done this year, this trail is quite overgrown. Um, and how I mentioned that I was able to wear shorts for the first time this year earlier is turning out to uh, complicate this hike a little bit because it is a little bit overgrown, which is never good for the ankles. Whatever the answer, the walls and outline of a building are neat to see. I love being able to touch history. We may not know for sure what this area was used for, but we know it had a past and had a purpose. Today its purpose is to reach into the creative or scientific sides of our brains to formulate an answer. Where does your mind take you? <laughs> 